it just doesn't get any better than Halloween and dress up, and especially when you've got grandchildren. So my grandchildren came, and Pam, it's great to have their mother here. My gra- <laughs> not well, my- thanks for having <laughs> us. I don't know if I've ever seen her so excited about something. Well, I thought the perfect thing is the pirates. The little pirates. <laughs> and Mandy, can you walk the plank? Can you walk the plank? Let's see if you can do it. There we there go. You go. <laughs> so we'll talk about costumes today and how we made it. And are you going to let her help wow, jump off? I am. Because Eva wants to Are you right ready now. to jump off? And then okay. Mommy's going to help Grandma make a few more costumes, okay? So hop off. Okay, here comes Eva. And then maybe you can go hang out with Daddy Eva, while I you can do Grandma this. while I see some stuff. There you go. Mommy, she wants, to, she wants to jump off. You say bye-bye to the camera. <laughs> can you say bye-bye, Eva? Hey, you bye-bye. can say bye-bye. That's good. <laughs> okay, and then you can go see Grandpa. Come on, Mickey. Okay. Oh, you did off it. That was go. a big jump. Okay, <laughs> see you later. They love dressing. <laughs> What kid doesn't love You know, and it's not just for Halloween. It's every single day of my house. Every day. Isn't that wonderful? Every day. So let's talk about how to do those pirates. Because when you, well, you didn't challenge me. I sort of thought, what am I going to dress them as? And I loved Halloween from day one. I mean, my mother dressed me. I won all the contests. So your husband, my son, won all the contests. (laughs) So so they have to keep this. This is true. But pirates are all the rage right now with all the movies and so on. So I thought, let's show the easiest things you can possibly do. So the top, this is on the fold. Here's your neck right there. There's your arms. You cut this out like that. And if you want to get a little bit more, let me have the scissors. Oh, that ever looking straight yeah, forward. That's I, one piece. That's one piece. I mean, that's the idea. When you're making costumes, you don't want to get fussy. Yeah. So that, that pulls over the head. You sew there and you sew there. This could be in the front or the back. Wow. So that's the top. Then the pants. And the pants is pretty close to the same thing on the fold. Here it is. So you're going to have one leg here, one leg there. You're going to sew around the crotch, up and under. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's that one. I think I could probably pull that one. And then we call this one the world's easiest vest. The world's easiest vest being one piece on the fold. Cut it out. Open it out. And then sew the shoulders. Sew the shoulders. We're talking vest. Wow. Okay, now this one's a little small. Is there a pattern? <laughs> there is a pattern. Yeah, for that? There's a pattern for all this. Oh, but, okay. You know, it's just using what you've got around, and that's what I think costumes are all about. It's just using stuff. Make a sash. We had a little bandana, and you notice those baubles. Yes, those, the, the earrings, earrings. Were just old baubles that you actually sew right onto the bandana. Very so, clever. I mean, and then, you know, your, your choice is no. no um, shoes but you could have big boots and put big bows on them or do whatever i mean if they're going to go out into the real world and play they might want to have shoes on yeah so, they yeah. probably would yeah. but at home oh no that, no, that was all good. the rage so that's that's the simplest pirate that i could sort of come up with in in two seconds or less but we thought you know there's just something about little girls and foo-foos and you know all this kind of stuff yeah. so we just made some and tool will go a long way so and tool is inexpensive so you just go and buy tool in any color you this want. This looks so fancy, but it this is does. quite simple. Oh, I mean, we just did this in the last 10 minutes. Oh. Because oh. we couldn't find the one that we'd actually made. Wow. So this is... Okay, put, forget going <laughs> Halloween costume shopping? Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. 10 oh, minutes, yeah. No, I can't be Halloween that. costume shopping is really not worth that. No, you've got to make this yeah. kind of stuff. This is faster. So, very. So mm-hmm. we had a scrap of, of sort of sheer stuff. We took this and folded it in half. So this is one piece just folded so it becomes a pocket there. And oh, then you can put, okay. what we did was actually use this stuff, because it's wire, uh-huh. and put that actually through there so that you've got sort of some, oh, that's how you, you can shape sparkle. it, yeah, and the sparkles. It's there like it a is. pocket, that's and right. you can put things in there. And of course, if you put it onto a tie like this, you can just tie it around. Right. And you can put a couple of levels of this, and I mean, what little girl doesn't Very want nice. something like that? So this what would they wear for a top with that? Actually, a top, the easiest top we have is this one. And you've got a square fabric, like this. Okay, so fold the sparkles <laughs> on this would be a hit. Yes, fold it in half, fold it in quarters, okay, and then cut out your neckline. And now we're talking, wow. let's put, pull this over your head and tie it or do whatever you want with it. This is, that's, that's your top. That's right, that's good. And so, for a little boy, this could be nice well, it could chain be. metal. We did kind of do a little boy oh. kind of thing because sometimes boys don't want to have all the foo-foo, although I think it's so sad because they <laughs> want them, but we don't allow it. So here you go, the same kind of thing for a little boy. You could have a band. Oh, so cute. We just pleated this piece onto it. These just iron on. 
you take some metallic fabric, put some fusible behind it, cut out some shapes and iron it on. The good news about well, costumes is they don't have to be washable. They don't have to last forever. They can be and just for the moment. You didn't even have to stitch it down. No, 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 no. And then you'd tie this around. This could be... You know, this has got a piece of hook and loop oh. on there. And you know, the Velcro now is what they do for safety. Sure. Yeah, sure. you're not supposed to have the tie because sure, sure. it no, cause if it gets comes gone, off very it. easy. Yeah. yeah. So a little hat is both as simple as it gets. So this is just a cone. And you can put some stiffening in it if you want, or you could put some cardboard in it. And now we've got the magic hat to go with. That's so fantastic. the dollar stores these days have all the crowns and all the wands and all that kind of stuff. So that's mm -hmm. an easy thing to get. And this is just another sort of a keepy thing just before we, we pleated it all. You just pleat it all and do whatever you want. I mean, oh, it's, I see. Okay. There's just really, with a few feathers, with a few um, wonderful things, you got it, you got it made. So, yeah. So Lots can, of good ideas yeah, here. Yeah. I'm hoping we get to take it home with us yes, and we do. can try to replicate it at home. It. We gotta go, so we'll be right back with more good stuff. Guests of our show stay at Travel Lodge. Nice rooms, great people. Models provided by Chan International. Number one in personal development training, modeling, and acting. Poor guy doesn't have any clothes on, but this guy becomes this woman. So we're going to show you how to do that. We're going to show you all kinds of things about dolls because I have doll maker extraordinaire with me, Vonda Crackdale. So it's great to have you here. Thank you very much, Linda. And what got you going in dolls? I've loved making things for dolls since I was a small girl, and I've combined that with my love of beading and rescuing found objects such as the doilies. So let's skirt. discuss her because that really is, she's just a beauty. And so this, you, you say you're a garage, garage sale junkie? Garage sale junkie. This <laughs> is a rescued uh, vintage knitted doily. Uh, and knitted. I mean, that is so exquisite. Mm -hmm. And you, you really needed to rescue this. You can't very well right. let that go. And these pearls were lovely vintage pearls with a nice patina. Yes. A button, a big coat button here. Beautiful. Yeah. And uh, some uh, velvet some leaves. bits and pieces. So, I mean, I can just imagine your stash of stuff. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, yes. So you start basically with one of these, and you bead the face, and you dress it with clothes, and... Yeah. First of all, th these muslin bendable dolls are readily available, so it can be positioned. And I use acrylic paint first. Mm -hmm. You can use fabric paint if you like, but I'm mm -hmm. not concerned about it going mm -hmm. stiff. Yep, yep. Then I use ribbon to make so the bodice. So is this painted? Or that's it's fabric. painted. That's just painted. Okay. Just painted. Yep. Then I use ribbon for the bodice. Yeah. Uh, decorated with a, a pretty doily. Doily. Yeah. And yep. um, oh, beaded a... the face. Lovely. Okay. So let's actually just have a look at some of the. Uh, this kind of tickles me that this is the same and then we'll get, actually get doing one. Uh, certainly, these two um, are my persona. This is, <laughs> these are the first altered uh, bendable muslin dolls that I did. This represents me in the city and I love to garage sale. And all of these trinkets were picked up as broken jewelry or earrings at garage sales. Can this you stand? Let's have a look at you standing. That yes. becomes your skirt then. Yes. yes it's got a very oh, yes. full... And this is really how and you. That's how this it is began. how you started. So this so. is the, the larger side size of the bendable muslin doll sure, readily sure, available sure, out there. Sure, sure. And um, in the city, one, I garage sale. One thing you use a lot, it seems like, is these round. Um, I call them a corona. Okay. And when I put something on the back of the head, let's have a look at the um, back yeah, here, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, the button is in the small example. Yeah. It gives the doll spirit to me. Yeah, it gives yeah. it a soul. Yeah, it, yeah. It, just add something, yeah, then yeah. I'm happy with it. Yes, it yeah. looks kind of dull or I won't, yeah. or whatever, you until I add dull. that no, element. No, no, no. Yeah. I see rings on the fingers those, and bracelets. Those are, and that's my family the purse, ring. The whole business yes, is lovely. Everything. So this is one part of you, but then you said this other one is This is also me you. when I'm uh, at the uh, in the country, I head for the beach. Okay. Uh, we are sort of landlocked here in okay. Alberta. Yeah, so yeah. Um, all of these trinkets represent the beach. There are shells and fish, uh -huh. um, turtles, etc. Can you turn your head around? I see you've got a shell on the back. I can, so that's just I rather can lift good. her out. Okay. What a great way to display her as well. But there she yes. is. <laughs> yes. Sorry. And fishnet tights. Oh, yes. Uh, all beaded Perfect. with the fine beads. Yeah. 
Oh, there's no, there's no end to which you'll, mm -hmm. you'll go to the... And this was just wrapped um, with uh, lace, mm -hmm. but I've seen young girls decorate these just using a fancy hair scrunchie. Sure, sure. I mean, this could be as complicated or as simple as you want. Absolutely. And again, you've just painted this, and it looks like you've covered it with fabric, but you've done... No, it's just yeah. paint. Paint. Okay, we're going to have to start playing. I can see that we have to have another... Yeah, we'll put her back there, and then... Okay. So tell me what elements that we need for this. If you're doing the large one, I tend to bead on a separate piece of fabric. I, I do a but lot of recycling. This is the head that's yes, been removed from this body, okay? Um, this is an old wool skirt mm -hmm. that was washed, and I just define the shape with a stitching line to stop stretching, just like a stay stitch. Okay, and that's going to fit over yes, that. Yes, and that will finally go sure. over there. and that stitching then won't show. And I just freeform the stitching. I like a lot of detail in the face, so I use a very small bead. Um, these beads are size 15. So those are just dinky beads. Yes, yes. and they have to be... But they've the got a good-sized hole, I see. Yes, that's because they're Japanese beads. Okay, yep. mm -hmm. They have a large hole for the outside size. Sure, sure. Because I want to put the thread through at least twice and sometimes three times okay. to be able to get it to sit exactly where I want sure. it. And the thread you use is a beading thread. Then. It's a beading thread yep, yep, yep. Um, that sure. uh, is waxed and very fine. Okay. So it and I use not a long beading needle, but a very flexible size 11 straw needle. Sure. Okay. And the stitch I use is just a very simple couching stitch. Uh, I'll thread on uh, as many yeah, as like uh, the line, half an inch, half an, inch, half, half yeah. an inch, and then um, I just put a long stitch and go through to the back. And now I'm going to have to put my glasses on in order that I can do the other <laughs> So thing. the easiest way then is to do, did, which, what did you actually do first on here? The, the eyes? eyes. I always start with the eyes. Okay, yeah, yeah. And um, then the nose, the eyebrows and the nose. Mm -hmm. And then the mouth. And then I fill in. Fill in. Okay. And I just use a simple couching stitch going up on one side of the beaded line. Okay. And going down on the other side of the beaded line. And so it's actually just holding the thread that's in between it's the stitches. It's holding the thread that's in between. Sure. And I continue to do that, and that allows you to make it a nice curved line. Sure. And then I thread the, through th the thread through again in order that the beads don't wobble. Okay. I don't like okay. my beads to wobble. Okay. I like them to be nice okay. and secure. Well, this is also an heirloom piece, aren't we thinking? Like, I mean, this is something that's going to hopefully last yes. forever. Yes. And last us, probably. Is exactly. that what you're thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And, and with heirloom pieces like this, I hope, mm -hmm. I do like to do some documentation, such as uh, this little art book, which explains how and what I made. The beginning this and this, the journey that it yes, really was. the it's journey a, yeah, yeah. of everything and how I made it. Yes, and what you used and all that. Yes, so, so this little face that you're working on then could easily become that little face. And then mm -hmm. that little face could be appliqued. Well, it's a little bit big for this guy, but... Um, and sometimes know, then I use other found objects. So that could be... Oh, uh, yeah. Setting it into this yeah. pearl. Yeah. And then maybe using another garage sale find. Yeah. And assembling a collage. This could be in a shadow box. Yes. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Um, I res another rescue yeah. here. We've got to work... Well, you've got actually another one here, which is quite beautiful, too. Yes. And you actually made... Um, I'll just yeah. lift it off. Lift, okay. This one um, is of a leaf theme. It's an, uh, called Listok. It's a Ukrainian name for leaf spirit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's for a friend who loves the, these what colors. What a wonderful gift to receive from you. And then you've the got same the, way. the throne, not the throne, but um, so the palace there. Yeah. 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 Uh, shall I lift okay. that up? Yeah, then... sure. But this is, this is your grandmaster. So tell me this one. This one yeah. you say is Haydn. This is Haydn. And... I made this in response to a challenge by a magazine asking to make a doll that's a celebrity. And I don't know anything about <laughs> rock stars, so I decided... He was a rock star in his day. In I'm the sure. 18th century. Sure. So um, the name of Haydn is in my family. My husband is called Haydn, my son, my father-in-law, okay. and generations it was before. Meant to be. yeah, so yeah. Um, I made Haydn again. I, I used an old lamp base, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which I then put on a padded piece. The coat was made separately. I made a wool form for the head, beaded onto ultra suede, attached it to the face and sculpted it. And the, th the hair, hair is, is 
um, the process known as needle felting. Sure, yeah, and we're doing that on the show. I, I like the way you've actually worked this into the family tree. You've got the, the all the pictures of your husband and your yes, exactly. this is perfect. This is brilliant. I just love what you've done with that. Um, the sculpting, everything. It's uh, and at the back. I, I like details. Even on the back, you can see that. The wig is uh, uh, is shown. Yeah, and this is quite a good likeness of, of what we know of Haydn. Of I, what we know of Haydn, and, yeah. and you may think that the face looks a little distorted, but apparently he had a very distorted face from smallpox and refused to have portraits painted yeah. of him. Well, that is just brilliant. So once again, I just say thank you. This has just been another journey for me to think, Oh, there's so many things in so little time. I know. That's why I don't work anymore. <laughs> Retirement is good. It this is. is. Good. Well, you've just been an inspiration, so thank you so much, Rhonda. It's just been great. And thanks very much. Don't you go me. away, because we've got more good stuff coming up. I'm at a sewing show and this is one of the best places to be. If you want to get ideas and if you want to meet interesting people and see interesting things, you've got to come to one of these shows. So I thought I'd seen everything. I've been around a lot. I've been doing lots of sewing. And then I saw Liz and Liz, welcome to the show. Thank you. And I just am fascinated with what you do. You make post. She makes postcards and sends them in the mail. Yep. Yep. Debbie and I met 17 years ago and we became fast friends. And You're from different countries. We said. live in different countries. Yeah, so yeah. in order to keep in touch, we make postcards. I taught Debbie how to sew. She taught me how to play. So we put it together and started playing with fabric on postcards. We send them through the mail. And I'm just fascinated. I could have just imagined getting something like this in the mail. My, my mailman, they must be delighted oh, with this. Oh, they love it. They love it. Yeah. So you can be as, and you can be as creative. Well, There's no rules. You can do whatever you want. It's fun And play. it doesn't have to be washable? No, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> you can good. put, you can embellish to your heart's content. You can paint on it. You can beat it. Yeah. It'll still go through the mail. Okay, show me how you're going to do okay. one of these. Okay. Let's First, you want to start with your front fabric. And well, this is maybe the toughest part, is figuring out what you're going to do as your... Oh, just play. Yeah. Just oh, play. Oh. Cut your fabric up and play. Do or I better yet, play? I mean, rip your fabric up. Oh, it's even better. Fun to rip so it. you've basically pieced all this together. Mm -hmm. So, And it doesn't really matter. I mean, you don't have to be... This is not no. rocket science. No, this is, yeah. no. This, okay. is, this is not going to be, okay. you know, the next no. heirloom no, no, quilt. No, no, no. You need a heavy-duty heavy stabilizer. Some kind of stabilizer. Could this be a postcard itself? It could be a postcard. You can you use old be, paper. You could stitch through anything. You can stitch through anything. Yeah. Just some Something firm. Okay, something firm. Okay. Then you need a back yeah. and another piece of stabilizer. The back, we recommend that you keep it plain fabric okay, because yes. you're going to write your write, message yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. So does this go together like this? Then it goes together two? like this. Oh, I'm clever. And you stitch around I'm, the edges. I'm getting this. Okay. Yep. And the one next just thing is you stitch around the edge, then straight stitch around the edge? You can or? straight stitch or zigzag. We okay. like to zigzag and we like to couch on. And every machine threads. out there straight stitches or zigzags, yes. so yes. we can do that. And then here machine. is the finished one with couching uh, yarn all around. And, okay, you've got a stamp that does There's this. There's a stamp on the back, but you don't need a stamp. Yeah. You can just write on it and send it through the mail with your writing. We use markers. Oh, that is fascinating. Okay, so you get these from people, too? Yes. It's not just of, you two It's not world? just us two. We're not the only <laughs> two nuts ones. We get them from all over the world. And then you put them together in... And you can put them together in a binder... Wonderful. And so so you bind them then together? Bind them You've with rings. Books of these things? And we have books of them. And then we've used the idea in our book to teach people how to sew. Oh, this do, this is a very non-threatening kind of thing. Because, I mean, yep. yeah. Anybody every, can do this. Everybody in the world everybody could can. do this. Mm -hmm. And there's something about playing cards here, too. You've done yep. this. These are called artist trading cards, or ATCs. And a lot of them use a playing card like on I, the back. I recognize that. Mm -hmm. that I... An actual playing card. Okay. Or you can make them just like the passport, I mean, postcard. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, so you, the same thing. So you just put something, so you've left mm -hmm. the card and you've just put this on the outside. Right. And this is actually a piece of paper. 
Okay. So on so top, yeah, you can sew paper. your paper with your fabric. You can use anything. Oh. And artists trade these with each other. You don't sell them. You just trade them with trade your them. friends. And, and so you've got a collection of these. We have these. a collection of these from people all over the world. It's oh. really this fun. This is crazy. Very so fun. this is nothing about functional. This is nothing no. about... No. This is about play. This is about yes. play. This is about play. I'm fascinated. Everybody can do I this. want to get one of these in the mail. Oh, well, I'll send you, you one. You want to send me one? Okay. Yes. And then no, you have to promise to send me one. Send you one back. Well, you I think can do I can do you this. Can I mean, do this. yeah, I mean, yes. if I can do jackets, I can do you this. You can do so, this. So this, is, this, this is good. This is fun. And you've done a book. So your done book a book. is telling mm -hmm. you all about these things and many other things. And a lot of other things. Obviously, once you start to open your mind and start to play, there is no stopping. We're all about playing. I know that one, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, ladies. Thank you. It's been fascinating, and I'm Look forward to get that postcard. Oh, great. I'll send okay. it to you. Thanks. Okay. Thank Bye. you so much. I love getting your letters and your emails and your comments and suggestions and your problems. Do, if you want to get hold of me, just watch at the end of the show and you'll see our email and website and that'll give you all the information. So the question today or the letter today, it says, Dear Linda, I'm in a pickle. I bought yards and yards of your lovely slinky knit when you were here for the Puyallup Sewing Expo. I saved it to make some dressy evening outfits for a cruise I'm taking. Anyway, I've been trying to sew the stuff and I can't seem to control the stretch. The neckline has grown to the size of my ample waist. You must have a secret. When this stuff needs sewing, like the neckline, how is it done? I'm losing patience with myself and the slinky knit. I surged the edge and then tried turning in the edge and top stitching. It looks terrible. Please help. Thanks, Ina Compton. All right, Ina, this is the problem that you're talking about, this stretchiness. And yes, it does stretch, but we've got to control that. So take your pa paper pattern and cut some fusible knit interfacing. And this has a little bit of stretch, but not too much. And if we just put that on top with the fusible side down, for sure, and then we just iron that, that is just going to hold so beautifully. It's going to control it. You can turn that edge and top stitch it. I think that'll solve it. We're out of time, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. To receive the companion book for this series with all of the project details, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call one 888 mcfee or visit us on the web at www.mcfeeworkshop.com. Sponsored in part by Janome. Quality sewing machines since 1921. And by Rowenta, the garment care experts, meeting the needs of the sewing enthusiasts for over 100 years with high performance irons, steamers, steam generators, and ironing boards. And Wonderfill Specialty Threads. Thread for the way you sew. And by the Woolen Mill Store. Your source for quality fabrics and more. Featuring the largest selection of wool and wool blend. Yardage from Pendleton Woolen Mills. And by Horn of America. Experience quality, innovative ideas, and customer service. And Creative Festival. Bursting at the seams with hundreds of industry experts, conference classes, exhibits, and more. Experience creativity in the making.